Hi, my name is John, and in this video I will show you how to set up filters on the home page with a redirect to the archive page. This is great for directories or booking sites. The first step is set up the archive page. Okay, you can go to the Bricks Builder, you can create your archive page. For example, this is archive page for products, but you can create the archive for uh, directories or booking sites. Okay, now you set up the filters. Okay, uh, this is easy. But this is very, very important. Go to the each filter and go to the settings and set the URL parameter. Okay, in this case, I will set the URL parameter for the uh, categories and you need to set a unique URL parameter. In this case, for example, Fancy Bricks categories, okay, Fancy Bricks cut. And you can set, for example, on the sizes, Fancy Bricks size, on the colors, Fancy Bricks color. Okay, this is very, very important that you set a unique url parameter for each filter now uh, save okay and close the archive now go to the home page or your page that you work with the filter and edit with bricks builder and you need add the filters as you need okay for example in this case i will add the filter for the uh, checkbox okay for the categories you can see this is the same name of the URL parameter in the archive. Okay, this is very, very important. And for example, for the uh, fancy bricks color and the sizes. Okay, you can see fancy bricks size. This is the same URL parameter. But to make them work, you'll need to add a hidden block with a query loop. In this case, I add a loop. Okay, this is a block and set a query set the post type in this case is the product for the example but you can set the directory or booking page okay the, your custom post type and then you can set display none okay very very important we won't display anything in this block it's just for the filters to work and now we need add the button for the filter submit okay add the filter submit in the submit you need set in the redirect to uh, the URL okay to their redirect in this case you don't need to write the full URL uh, for example in this case I redirect to a shop you can see the URL in this case is shop I write shop okay um, you can write all the URL but it's not necessary uh, this is all okay save and go to the front end and now you can set the categories, okay, for example, decoration. And now you can see that this change, okay, for black. And now you can see that this uh, change, now search. And you can see that this uh, is redirect to the archive page with the same uh, parameters for the URL. And now you can see that the filter works and you can change this in the archive page is the same way. And this is all. If you are a premium Fancy Bricks user, this template with accessible popovers is ready for you to download and use. For edit, remember go to the content, select the class Fancy Bricks Popover 1 and content, go to the style and go to the CSS. In the CSS, you can see the iframe class and root. And delete this. And when you finish the edit, the content and the styles, set display none. Okay, very, very important. Uh, this is much better to work and this is all thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye